I am the captain now. I am now in command of his vessel and all her crew members. I, the individual before your eyes of whom you are making eye contact within this moment, am now assuming total power of this vessel which includes her crew members, facilities and navigation. There shall be no protestation. In this specific location which is 243 nautical miles off the coast of Somalia on Earth, in the solar system, in the Orion spiral arm, in the Milky Way galaxy, in the local group, in the Virgo supercluster in the observable universe, I shall be initiating in a conversation with you, the individual who is the Homo sapien, that is in charge of this ship, and all of its crew members, facilities and navigation in which a new thought or suggestion as to a possible course of action will be shown, offered or presented to you in order to scrutinize, consider, or simply understand. This thought or suggestion is as follows the title that you hold shall from this moment be nullified. This is to say that you shall no longer be in control of this large aquatic transport vessel. Your title of captain is now nullified and I, the individual who is maintaining an upright position, supported by the lower extremities of my leg directly in front of you, shall now assume the title of which you have just been unlawfully and forcefully robbed of. With this process in which change has initiated, there shall be clear changes in the future and destiny of this large aquatic transport vessel. Let X, Y, Z be orthogonal coordinates for space and let T denote time. The objects of our perception are always connected to places and times. No one has noticed a place other than at a time and a time other than at a place. However I still respect the dogma that space and time each have an independent meaning. I will call a point in space at a given time, i.e. a system of values X, Y, Z, T a world point. The manifold of all possible systems of values X, Y, Z, T will be called a world. With a hardy piece of chalk I can draw four world axes on the blackboard. Even one drawn axis consists of nothing but vibrating molecules and also makes the journey with the Earth in the universe which already requires sufficient abstraction. The somewhat greater abstraction associated with the number 4 does not hurt the mathematician. To never let a yawning emptiness, let us imagine that everywhere and at any time something perceivable exists. In order not to say matter or electricity I will use the word substance for that thing. We focus our attention on the substantial point existing at the world point X, Y, C, T, and imagine that we can recognize this substantial point at any other time. A time element dt may correspond to the changes dx, dot, dz of the spatial coordinates of this substantial point. We then get an image, so to say, of the eternal course of life of the substantial point, a curve in the world, a world line, whose points can be clearly related to the parameter t, from negative infinity to positive infinity. The whole world presence itself has resolved into such world lines, and I want to say in advance, that in my understanding the laws of physics can find their most complete expression as interrelations between these world lines. Through the concepts of space and time the x, y, z manifold t0, and its two sides t0 and t0 fall apart. If for simplicity we hold the chosen origin of space and time fixed, then the first mentioned group of mechanics means that we can subject the x, y, z axes at t0 to an arbitrary rotation about the origin corresponding to the homogeneous linear transformations of the expression x2, y2, z2. The second group, however, indicates that, also without altering the expressions of the laws of mechanics, we may replace x, y, z, t by x, t, y, t, z, t, t, where, are any constants. The time axis can then be given a completely arbitrary direction, in the upper half of the world t0. What has 39 now the requirement of orthogonality in space to do with this complete freedom of choice of the direction of the time axis upwards? To establish the connection we take a positive parameter C and look at the structure 